with the grade 12 students. We are now on the last week or week number 4 for contemporary Philippine arts from the region. But before we start with our very last lesson for this subject, let us have first prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, being the true source of light and wisdom, grant us the grace of understanding, of knowledge, and enlightenment of mind for us to truly understand the lessons which are designed for us by our teachers. With love and compassion, we humbly pray that you will continue to heal our land against this pandemic that we are facing right now. Guide us, O Lord, unworthy as we are. Lord our Father, make us your servant to become servant to others. Make us to become more in love for us to give love to others. And Lord, continue to make us humbly knowledgeable of our chosen expertise that we become share of this knowledge to others. This we ask through your most holy name, together with your begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Jesus, you are my Lord. May happiness lies in you alone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good day grade 12 students. How are you today? I hope that you and your loved ones are in good condition. Again, we are now on the last week for contemporary Philippine arts from the region. How fast the time is! You are now about to finish this subject. But before we start with our new lessons, let us do first a recap of what we have discussed in our last instructional video. In our last video, you have learned about the different uh, uh, various contemporary art forms found in the Philippines. You have learned the different uh, uh, things that uh, came out during the, the rise of the contemporary arts, which includes the visual arts, the literary arts, which includes the poem, and the song, and the dance, and theater performances of the contemporary artists. Now, we are going to discuss unit number 2 for week number 4, which is all about different contemporary art techniques and performance and practices. For this unit, you will learn two different lessons. Okay, for lesson number 1 is the different contemporary art techniques and performances practices in our region. And for lesson number 2, you will learn the different local materials used in uh, making contemporary arts or applied in contemporary arts. It is important, especially the lesson number two, uh, to know the different local materials because it is part of your mini task number four that will be submitted on December 4. So, without further ado, let's start with our discussion. But before that, make sure that you have answered the pre assessment found on your assessment sheets. Now, let's start with lesson number one. For lesson number one, again, our lesson is all about different contemporary arts techniques and performance practices in our region. Okay? So, for this lesson, we have this objective, research on techniques and performance practices applied to contemporary arts. Okay, let's start with Tarlac's arts or art forms okay we have here the famous belenismo satarla or belenismo of tarlac the art of making belen was organized by tarlac heritage foundation under the leadership of dr isa owang kosuntai and their mother doña isabel kawangko 
through time. Starting 2007, kumotivate tarlacenios to build beautiful balloons. Okay? Alam naman natin ang mga tarlac talaga, di ba? Yung mga, uh, mga, uh, mga angkan na sikat sa tarlac is the kawangko. Or kawangko, which uh, it is also um, a relative. Okay, andyan yung mga relatives ng ating previous president na si President Benigno C. Or kawangko Aquino. Okay, so sila, uh, isa sa mga nagpasikat niyan or nagpasimula si Dr. Kuhuang Kasuntay and yung kanyang pair, uh, mother uh, na para siyang competition ng pagandahan ng paggawa ng belen. Okay, so they use different um, different colors, different materials to build their belen to make it look more artistic than our usual belen. Okay, so I think ngayon, uh, pinaplan pa rin nila na ituloy yung Belenismo although nagkaroon ng pandemic. Okay, so to give uh, inspiration sa mga artists and sa mga tao na uh, nakatira sa Lalak or what we call the Star Lakenya. So that is the famous uh, representation of contemporary arts in Tarlac, the Belenismo. Okay, in our province, Nueva Ecija, we have the rice paddies in rice fields and the sleepers in Gapan City, Nueva Ecija. Okay, so the sleeper industry is also a growing business in the community level in Gapan City. The home-based uh, uh, industries of sleeper producers uh, turn into a cooperative venture of a whole community. So, di ba? Alam naman natin na sa Gapan City, they are one of the main producers of uh, the sleepers in our country. Okay, so, uh, meron silang annual festival kaya lang ngayon is na-cancel because of the pandemic. Uh, pinaparada nila yung mga giant chinelas. Okay? So that is one of the contemporary arts in La Paisia. And another one, ito yung latest in our uh, in our contemporary arts, which, which is the rice paddings. Okay? So La Paisia offers boundaries opportunities in agro-industry and agri-based trading activities to local and foreign investors. Alam naman natin, now, Nueva Ecija is regarded as rice granary of the Philippines, the province that produces a uh, high crop yield of uh, the palais. Okay, so, naisipan na isang grupo dun sa may Philippine Rice Institution of Philippine Rice dun sa Science City of Munoz na gawing artwork yung ating rice plain. Okay, so, ginawa nilang yung rice paddies natin ay parang naging parang mini sculpture or mini artwork. I'm ah, sorry, hindi na ako sila mini. Isa siyang malaking artwork or parang sculpture or painting doon sa may uh, pinaka-rice paddies. Okay, example nga yan, yung mga sikat na ginawa. Yung, meron dyan yung kay Molon Duterte. Ito yung nasa picture, yung sikat Riona Gray with the may leather span palagay Rise Up PH. Yung nung sumikat nun yung uh, uh, Alden Richards and Ming Mendoza tandem yung Alda, ginawan din nila yan ng artwork. So, yan yung famous sa ating bayan. Pero marami pa rin naman yan. But ito yung isa sa, ko, uh, isa sa uh, um, mga hindi nakikita sa ibang bayan. Yung Chinelas Festival and the Rice Paddings in Science City of Munoz. Next one for Pampanga. Okay, so Pampanga, especially San Fernando City, is regarded as the Christmas capital of the Philippines. So, they held annually the Giant Lantern Festival, which is ngayon, alam ko, is i-ano pa rin nila, push through. So, the Kapampangan locals or natives call this festival Ligligan Parul, okay, or the Festival of the uh, Parols or Lantern which is an annual festival that is being held during the Saturday before Christmas in December. Yung Sabado bago magpasko sa Desyembre, nilulun sa yung um, Giant Lantern Festival. So, dun ina-award ko. Sino yung pinakamagandang gawang uh, pinakamagandang gawang parol. Okay, ngayon, medyo technical na ipag-check nila. May mga nag-check na rin dyan ng mga architects or engineers kung sino man yung related sa mga electrician, simpala. Talaga tinitignan nila, sinusuri kung saan may pinakamaayos or pinakamaganda ang style nung uh, paggawa nung parol. So that is the contemporary artwork for Pampanga. 
And for Aurora, they have the Catholic Church of Bare Baler is remembered as the last packet of resistance of the Spanish armed forces to surrender in American troops. So yung mga religious uh, places nila like this Catholic Church of Barel and yung Ermita in Sitio Samento was used by the American uh, troops as a uh, parang hiding place during the World War II. Okay, so yun yung ginagamit din nila. And then ngayon na preserve and marami pa rin artworks na makikita yung mga murals na makikita doon and then yung design ng church uh, reflects contemporary art uh, works. Zambales, the Mango Festival, okay, because they are regarded as the one of the main mango producers in the Philippines. Ang tawag nila sa Mango Festival nila is the Namulag Festival because they are the home to sweetest, juiciest, and most succulent mangoes that you will ever see in our country. So the festival lasts for four to five days. There are different activities that are held during this fiesta, not only the street dance, but also there are fun run, beach ball, um, a sculpting competition, or the cook fest. Okay, so marami pang activities na ginagawa aside from parading their uh, mangoes. And Bulacan. So, Bulacan fiestas are not complete without the making of pastillas de leche wrapper. Okay? Or tinatawag nilang pabalat. So, special pa yung kanilang pabalat ng pastillas. Meron parang mga uh, cutouts na nakakabuo ng iba't ibang abstract figures. So, ganyan yung ginagawa nila. So, meron kasing literal term. Alam naman natin, pabalat, it's for the covering of the pastillas. Pero sa kanila, meron pang other meaning yung paggawa ng pabalat. It is uh, a reflection of their culture. Okay? The art is not only a cultural product but, or an artistic expression, but it also cuts some cultural, social, and even political discourses and related issues. Okay? So, meron palang mga kahulugan kung bakit nila ginagawa yung ganyang type ng uh, rapper sa kanilang pastillas. And then next one we have for Bataan, okay? So famous yan yung tinatawag nating Mount Samat. Okay? So Mount Samat is the national or the national shrine of Valor or Valor. Yun yung tinatawag natin sa Tagalog, di ba? Pag Valor, araw ng kagitingan or kagitingan. Nga, yan ay tinatawag na dambana ng kagitingan, okay? Shrine of Valor or Valor. Okay? So, bakit nga ba ganun yung tinawag sa uh, the shrine na yan? No? Okay? And ito kasi is located in the Mount Samat or sa bundok ng Samat dun sa may bataan. And it is built for ano siya nasabi dyan? Uh, for, to remember the gallantry of Filipino and American soldiers who fought during the World War II. So, ayan ay parang pagbunita or parang pagbibigay uh, pugay sa mga Pilipino at Amerikano na lumaban noong World War II. So, sa loob niyan, ng shrine na yan, meron din yung small museum okay, which included a uh, wide collection of painting of Philippine heroes and also meron din siyang parang small chapel or altar with uh, meron siya mga stained glasses sa loob. Okay, stained glass yung nakikita natin sa simbahan na pag tinamaan na araw, makikita mo yung iba't ibang kulay. Okay? So, yun yung makikita sa um, bataan which is part of contemporary art D, Mount Samad uh, National Shrine or the Shrine of Belor. Okay. So, yun yung mga makikita ng uh, contemporary artworks sa ating region for Now we see how we have the rice field and the chinela, Sambales, the mango festival, sa Bulacan yung pastillas, sa Bataan yung kanilang damba, um, damba ng mga pagitingan or the shrine of Valor, for Aurora yung kanilang famous church na ginawang taguan or hiding place of American troops, sa Pasatarlaca we have the Belenismo, and then for uh, what I've forgotten, yung sa Pampanga, okay? Yun naman yung sa may 
uh, Christmas uh, giant Christmas lanterns na ginagawa uh, every Saturday before the Christmas annually. Okay? So I hope you learn well in this uh, part of our discussion. You can now answer activity 2 on the assessment sheets. Okay. So let's move forward to lesson number 2. Local materials used as applied to contemporary art. So ito yung mga local materials na ginagamit sa mga uh, mga products na hand woven or mga gawang Pinoy. Okay natin. So dito lang sa Pilipinas makikita. So you will make uh, one of these uh, using one material uh, bahala kayo kung anong gusto na yung product basta gagamit kayo ng isang material galing dito na ipapas ninyo sa December for us your one uh, mini task okay so actually mas malaki yung percentage nito kasi mas mahirap yung task ninyo unlike sa three previous week na gumagawa lang kayo ng song nagpepay nagda-draw nagda-dance dito talagang gagawa na kayo ng isang handicraft okay so for this lesson, we have this objective, identify local materials used in creating art or artworks in the Philippines. So we have first the abaca, okay? the famous, uh, I think it is a national symbol of the Philippines. I don't know if it's a famous leaf or famous raw material, kasi na ng abaca. So belongs to the banana family. Alam naman natin yan. Its fiber has a natural luster with colors ranging from pure white to ivory and dark brown. Okay, so yan yung mga nakukuha sa um, para siyang banana tree eh, palm uh, para part kasi siya, uh, family kasi niya is the palm tree. So yan yung ginagamit for dip, making different products ni abaca. Okay? Next one, bakbaka. Uh, kamukha siya ng abaka because it is the outermost covering sheet of the abaka stock or yung pinaka sanga ng abaka. It is a flat, thick, durable sheet as twine or braided. May binibraid siya. The strong brown fiber is used to make furniture. So furniture like tables, chairs, yung ginagawa sa may bakbaka. Next one is the bamboo. Okay, so ito rin, famous naman niya sa Philippines, marami tayong bamboos. It is used as a raw materials in creating many products. It is used in construction, textile, musical instruments, weapons, and many more. Marami naman kasi talaga nagagawa yung bamboos natin. Pwede siyang for furnitures, ayun nga, musical instruments, pwede rin sa utensils like this, yung kutsara tinidor, pwede rin siyang plato, ba? So maraming pwedeng... Uh, gawin. Baso, ayun pala, pwede rin gawin yun sa bamboos. Okay? So, marami siyang pwedeng materials na pwedeng magawa out of this uh, raw material. And next one, buntal. Buntal is a cylindrical, cylindrically shaped fibers. The supply, the supple uh, ivory white strands are quite durable, pliable, and have a good dyeing quality. So, ito yung ginagamit sa mga, uh, tinatawag natin straw, okay, straw hat, yung mga sombrero, or sa lakot na ganito yung itsura. So, buntal yung materials na ginagamit dyan. Okay? Next, puri, okay? So, isang common din tong uh, materials na ginagamit for artworks. So, extracted from matured uh, leaves of buri palm. Okay? Palm leaves of buri. The fiber is durable and constant to moisture. So, ginagawa din yung mga basket, yung buri. So, sa may galitong uri ng puno, oh, ito na tawag nga yung buri palm, dun niya nakukuha. Coir, okay? Ito yung bunot. Okay? So, yung tawagin natin sa local. Okay? Fibrous material surrounding the fruit of coconut tree. So, maraming magagawa sa bunot, di ba? Pwede siyang... Ayun nga, panlinis. Pero yung mga fibers din yan, pagka inayos yan, pwede rin yung gawing basket or hat or iba pa nga materials na pwedeng magawa sa kanya. And then nito, plant belonging to family of ferns. So para siyang ferns, ito siya, pako. Abundantly in the hinterlands of Mindanao. Okay, so pwede rin siyang gawing basket, mga lalagyan na ng uh, mga pagkain, ayan, prutas, ganyan. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Mas matitigas yung kanyang uh, fibers. Kaya ganyan yung nagagawa sa kanya. 
pandan. Okay, alam naman natin. Pandan leaves, a tropical plant, uh, process and transform into spring are being used in as raw materials like this basket. So, ito yung tsura ng pandan. Pinatutuyo lang yan. And then, pwede nang gawin basket. Okay? Raffia. Uh, fiber extracted from an open buri leaf in three stages. It is a loom woven uh, used as wall coverings, upholstery material, folding doors, and windows. Hami. So, maraming pwedeng gawin dito sa Raffia. It is part of a buri uh, plant or buri tree. Ginagawang wall coverings or dingding. Uh, upholstery material, folding doors. Ito parang trash can siya or lalagyan ng damit. Window hangings, etc. Okay. So medyo malambot lang yung kanyang, uh, uh, yung kanyang hardness. Okay? Hindi ganun ka hard. Okay? And then rattan, okay, familiar na din sa inyo yan. Belongs to palm family pa rin. There are different types of rattan pa, such as slow climber, single stem, or clustered rattan species. Ito, mas matitigas siya. Ginagawang upuan, basket, basket na gawa sa rattan. Okay? Mahi yung, ito kasi pag na-zoom in, ayan. Yan yung sa mga basket talaga, yung mga, mga, mga lumang basket. Rattan made yun. Okay? Na, naabutan niyo pa yung mga lumang baskets natin. And then TQ, para lang siyang damo, a large, erect, and aquatic or marshy herb plant. It is found in Central Luzon to Mindanao. It abounds fresh in water swamps and in newly opened rice land at low altitudes. So sa mga uh, kakaano pa lang na rice plant, wala pa tumutubo, and malapit din sa mga swamps or sa mga sapa-sapa. So ayan, dyan tumutubo itong ating uh, TQ. So, ginagawa siyang uh, banig. Okay, so, yan yung TQ. Ticog. Belongs to the sea grasses. Kung kanina yung TQ sa may sapa-sapa, ito naman sa sea grasses talaga siya nakukuha sa uh, sea. It is a native land used as raw materials for weaving. Okay. So, it is the example. Yan yung itsura na mahahaba yung uh, leaves. Okay. So, this, uh, those were the different raw materials used by Filipinos in making different local uh, crafted products. Now, have you decided kung ano kaya yung inyong gagamitin? Uh, make sure na magagawa nyo kan you watch uh, video in YouTube tutorials uh, para maalaman yung paano gumawa. You, can, you will just create simple products, pwedeng basket, Trash can, pencil case, small bags, mga ganun lang. Ha? So, out of these local products, which are readily available, okay? So, follow pa rin yung mga standards set by the IATF. Although, pwede na kayo noong because pinyaga na yung ages 15 to 65, ha? okay? Pero, with the guidance pa rin of the parents, face mask, tamang pag uh, sanitation, okay? Para maging safe kayo kung kukuha kayo ng mga materials. Okay, so that is for assessment number 3, okay? or activity 3 on your assessment sheet. Well, the activity 4 is the values integration. It is added to add more scores in your learning tablet. Okay, so that's it for our month-long journey in studying of temporary Philippine parts. I hope that you enjoy this subject because your skills in your uh, your craftsmanship skills or your pagiging craft uh, no, ito, pagiging uh, artistic uh, ninyo is na ilabas dito sa ating studies okay. so I'm leaving you with this Bible verse for we are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us coming from Ephesians 2 verse 10 thank you for listening and watching this video Temporary Philippine Arts from the region. Once again, I am Mr. Rory C. Frank, instructor for Contemporary Philippine Arts from the region. Thank you, God bless, and have a nice day. See you next time in our next subject for a great